wanted to talk to you today about something called percussion. Percussion is a technique that we can use to try and remove any um, mucus or gunk or fluid and sticky stuff that's got stuck in the lungs. Sometimes with conditions like cystic fibrosis, it can congeal in the lungs there and become really uncomfortable and cause hacking and coughing. Now I noticed with Rain Bob, who's now 12 and a half, um, about 18 months ago, he started doing this horrible hacky cough. Um, I don't think that it's a heart condition because it's not triggered by exercise or anything like that. And I don't think it's um, something viral like kennel cough either because he's had it for about 18 months. He's now quite an old boy. I'm not gonna start prodding and poking and investigating him. But if I can make him more comfortable, I'm certainly gonna do that. And that's when I started thinking that perhaps the technique they use for um, cystic fibrosis could be used for rain as well and thought we'd give it a go. So with percussion, what you do is you cup your hands and you bash them along the rib cage to try and cause a vibration that moves the, um, the fluid and the sticky gunk underneath and makes it more easy for the dog to be able to cough it up. So what I found that when Rain had been um, sleeping or having a nap, when he woke up, the first thing he did was this horrible hacking cough like he'd been on the wood vines all day. It's horrible. But when we've started doing this, it's gone from being that hacking for about a minute, two or three times a day, to just maybe one kind of thing every other day, something like that. So it's definitely made um, a difference for him. So to do it, all I'm gonna do is cut my hands. The sweep of the rib cage comes up like this so that you know that the lungs are in this cavity here. And all I'm going to do is come along on the rib cage there to try and free up any fluid that's underneath. To be honest, I usually do this with the dog standing up, but we've had a couple of girls that filming this for you and by now he's given in and decided he would just lie down. So make sure you go all the way where the lungs are and the lungs come all the way to the back of the dog. So usually, as I say, if I had the dog standing, I would make sure that I come all the way up and right along the back as well. Now you might find as a dog gets older, it's quite common for them to have an element of spondylosis. So spondylosis is a condition where um, the bony parts of the spine kind of build a bridge and they fuse together and become really quite stiff and painful. And that's quite common in um, elderly dogs. If they have that and you're bashing along the spine, it stands to reason that that's gonna be uncomfortable for them. So just be aware when you are doing the percussion towards the top and the back of the dog, just make sure, watch their faces. Do they look like they're any in discomfort with that? Because if they are, don't go up too high. But as I say, normally I would do it with the dog standing up. Now we may or may not play ball. Rainy, Rainy. Come on, monkey, up you get. Good lad. Up, up. Come on, get up. Up, up. Good boy. He's a clever lad. Come over here. This way. Rainy, come. Come, 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 come. So normally, as I say, I would do this. Um, Rainy, come. Good boy. Stay with the dog standing. And all you need to do with both sides, wait, stop, is come along all the way to the top. Turn around that way then. Wait, wait. All the way from the bottom, right along the rib cage, and all the way to the top of his back as well. And I'd probably do that for probably about three minutes a day is what I do it for now. And it's made such a massive difference to him. He's a happy boy. We're not doing the horrible coughing. Um, I would say if you've noticed a fresh cough with your dog, um, you need to speak to your vet. There is a lot of kennel cough and a, a nasty um, chest kind of problem going around at the moment so it might be that your dog has picked that up also if there is um, exercise implications then that can denote a heart problem as well so as with anything if it's something new with your dog speak to your vet they're the person who can actually tell you what's going on but if it's just an ongoing chronic condition this might be something worth a try to make your dog feel a bit more comfortable have a go you never know thanks for watching